Hello again, welcome again to Anachronism Sunday. Today we have a Turk, uh, Murat the Fourth, the Cruel. All right, he was a Turkish warrior, a male, obviously. Uh, he was a huge, powerful, and brutal man. Murat the Fourth restored the power of the Ottoman state, curbed corruption, and captured Baghdad. Now I don't know a lot about the Ottoman Empire. Um, I don't know a lot about. Well, I know nothing except for these cards about Murat the Fourth, but we will learn as we go along with the cards. First of all, the grid. It has a plus zero in front of him, a plus one on the right next to him. On top of that, a minus one. Hmm. And on the left next to the plus zero, he has a plus two. That is quite an extensive grid. Uh, element of fire, and he has seven health, three experience. No, wait. 3 speed, 7 experience, and 1 strength. His ability, and forgive me if I pronounce it incorrect, I don't speak Turkish. Um, Cezalan Dirmak. After an opponent uses an action or reveal ability, deal 1 damage to that player's warrior. Oh, that is sweet. You can just damage him. Oh, that is cool. That makes you think twice using something. All right, inspiration, an ally, a female, Kusim Sultan. Um, three initiative, which isn't that much. It has two abilities. The first one, Strategic, is a reveal ability. If this is the first card you reveal this game, place three counters on this card. Cool. And the second one, Hukumet Surmek. If you make an, if you make a roll, it doesn't specify what kind of roll, but that's cool. You may remove one counter from this card to give the roll plus one or plus two. If you do, your next roll gets minus two. All right, so you have a repercussion um, on your next roll. Then again, you could just take the counter off next turn and balance it to zero. Um, or just not attack or be so... Uh, sure of your case. All right, believed to be of Greek origin, Kusim entranced Sultan Ahmed I with her beauty. The power that she gained during his rule lasted into the reign of her son, Murat IV. Yeah, you read that a lot, that the uh, woman, uh, a woman or a mother behind the person in charge has had extensive influence. And I believe the flavor text here that she had some influence as well right as a weapon we have a bludgeon weapon um, a mace by the looks of it it deals two damage and it has an inspiration of seven not too bad and on the grid we can see next on the right a plus one on top of that a plus zero and then in front of him a plus one right um all right, this is a weapon and also two abilities. The first one, Uldurmek, uh, is a reveal ability. You may discard an ally. Hmm, this is an ally. That's cool. So that means that there are more inspiration allies, maybe even special allies. And you can discard them from the other, from the other player. That is nice, 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 nice. All right, next up we have Katiduru. If you have a shield, you your rolls gain plus one. Cool. All right, let's see what it says here about the Topus. Uh, Murat IV's strength was so great that he, had, that he could wrestle men with one arm. He also wielded a solid-headed Topus maze that weighed a, uh, over 50 kilograms. Holy... Oh my God. God, that is insane. 50 kilograms. That's like... Oh my... Uh, uh, wow. <sighs> Alright, that must have been a strong man. Next up, a helmet. Uh, Yasuk. It is 6 initiative. And it says... It is also with 2 abilities. Wow. So far, all the cards, except for the hero, have... Two abilities. That's so cool. Right, the first one. Dik Kafali. 
it is a reveal ability and it says you may move one space oh that's that, that's nice nice and the other one is yanit after you after you use an attack or reveal ability your next attack roll gains plus one. Oh, that's not too bad these cards actually work together as well except for the the shield thingy yeah this this yeah it works it it works boost upon boost right the ottoman armies wore these distinctive turban shaped helmets which were often highly decorated yeah as you can see here the spiral well the, the swirlies here it's supposed to be a turban motif and next up finally we have uh, an ally ah see a special ally i knew there could be allies as special for initiative and let's just try and pronounce it sorry again if i mess it up um suk 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 uh after you make an attack roll you may reduce one of the dice by one to put a counter on this card all right um shvilgun savunma uh, before you make a defense roll, you may remove a counter from this card. If you do, the attacker must re-roll all dice in the attack roll that are a six. Ho oh, ho! Oh my god, so... Wow! <laughs> That's another awesome card. Alright, uh, what does it say about the suk suk -wun? That's a hard name. That's a very hard name. Alright. Initially conscripted from Christian families and subject to many harsh regulations. Over time, the Janissaries became a powerful institution in the Ottoman Empire. So these were the Janissaries, very powerful warriors in the time for the era. So there we have it, a Turkish warrior. I like this one. I like this one. Maybe I'll play with it someday. And see if it actually does work. But so far, I like Murat the Fourth. Cruel. Right. Thank you guys for watching. See you all next time. Have a nice week. Bye.